Hello, it's Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Come on, let's go look at places where you can stay in your RV. If you look to the far left, sort of the upper portion of this map, and see the red icon, that's Victoria. Victoria is the capital of the province of British Columbia. To get here in your RV, there are four main ferry routes, three of which on the top of this map are accessed through British Columbia, and the fourth route, the bottom one, is accessed through Washington State. Each one of these red uh, routes, red lines, represents about a two-hour trip, uh, point to point. And if you chose to take the top route to Nanaimo on Vancouver Island and drive south to Victoria, that as well is about a two-hour drive. Okay, now that we've got you safely here, let's take a zip around uh, the area and see what your camping options are. Your first camping option is within five minutes of landing at this ferry terminal. This is a Schwartz Bay Ferry Terminal, which is about 30 minutes north of Victoria. But this campground is a little gem and it's right there as you come off the ferry. It's a national campground, very well maintained, but it's not for everybody. It's perfect for a Class C, a Class B, and a Class A up to about 30 feet. We have a 33 foot Class A and we can nip in there in a few of the sites. It's ideal for vans and truck campers, but I wouldn't want to bring a fifth wheel into this area. Even if you had a small fifth wheel, it would be a little tight. You're on your own for services. There isn't any electrical or sewer, but there is piped water into two locations and the water is perfect to drink. BC has wonderful water so you can feel confident drinking directly from the tap or loading up your RV. But hey, it's inexpensive and you're within 30 minutes of downtown Victoria it's a, it's a gem. It's a really, really, really good place to stay. Your next option as we work our way south from the Schwartz Bay Ferry Terminal towards Victoria is Oceanside RV Park. It's about 10 to 15 minutes from the last park that we looked at. And it's really well suited for any kind of RV. There's four sections to this park for transients. The, the middle section is for pull-throughs. Um, and there are, there are three other sections that are uh, back ends. Very accessible, uh, full power, 50 amp, 30 amp, uh, water, sewage, garbage and recycling. This is an ideal place if you want to be close to Victoria, but at the same time be a little further out so that you could be close to Butchart Gardens, which is really famous. It's a beautiful place to go. Um, as well as the seaside town of Sydney, which you would have just passed by getting to this place, and that's where we live. It, it's a lovely little town that you can explore. You could stay a few nights, or even if you just wanted to stay one night and get into one of the pull-throughs and be gone the next morning, it would really work out well for you. It's on the ocean, but unfortunately, we just noticed that the First Nations has blocked off access to the beach area. So... That's our real strike against it. It's really unfortunate. And from this location, you could be in downtown Victoria within about 20 minutes, give or take, depending on traffic. So it's really good for accessing Victoria. And if you don't plan to stay here and you're just passing through, but you need to dump your tanks and fill up with water, there's a spot for you to do that. $10 dumping fee. It's really easy in and out access. Now, I gotta say this. I don't think I have to tell you that it's not that pretty leaving this property. This property is beautifully maintained. The perimeter of it, the adjoining area, whatever you want to call it, is not so attractive. We won't speak about that right now. But if you come out and just close your eyes, uh, and, your eyes and make sure somebody is has their eyes open enough to guide you through this first part, it'll be okay. And then you'll be on your way to Victoria. And truly we are getting closer to Victoria. But sorry folks, to find our third RV park option, we have to navigate some downtown streets of Victoria, but it's really pretty and it's not very congested and people drive slowly, so you don't have to worry about navigating your rig through these streets. You don't hear much horn honking in downtown Victoria, and people are generally really patient with tourists. And with any kind of a rig, people will give you lots of room. This next part we're searching for is right on Victoria's inner harbor. It's as close as you'll get to downtown Victoria. 
it's only about three kilometers from the area that we're in right now, so about just over a mile and a half, a very easy walk along the shoreline. Well, when I say shoreline, I mean a, a pathway along the ocean front. It's really cool. As you get closer, it's kind of a weird approach through a residential, mixed residential and commercial area, but then it opens up into a, a nice view of the inner harbor. You know, as residents of this area, we apologize for those outrageous prices. To drown your sorrow though, you can hop on a network of harbour ferries. It's really cool. You pay one price and you can go from one point to the other across the harbour. You can go pubbing, you can go look at the parliament buildings, the downtown core. It, it's, a, it's a beautiful time and you'll have a lot of fun. So maybe it's worth it. And, on an even more positive note, if you're coming from the USA, think about everything in Victoria as being 30% off because of the exchange rate. It's a bargain! As we leave to search for our fourth RV park option, let's identify the area where we're focusing our RV uh, park searches, right here around the tip of Vancouver Island. And right now we're in downtown Victoria, which is right about here, and we're just going to scoot a little bit to the southwest along the shoreline to a place called Weir's RV Resort. And remember, the Pacific Ocean is off to the west. Uh, the white line below it is the um, Canada-USA border with Washington State peeking its head out below the white line and, of course, Vancouver Island directly above. So that's the geography lesson for today. Let's head out in search of Weir's Beach. Weir's Beach is a comfortable 45-minute drive from downtown Victoria, and while you'll encounter some highway driving along the way, a good portion of it, at least half, is through a beautiful countryside uh, through an area called Machosen along the southwest shoreline of Vancouver Island. After going inside to ask permission to look at the RV park, because we noticed there was a residential component to it and we wanted to respect privacy, we were then allowed to drive freely through the, um, the park itself and our impression is that it has a beautiful beach and a, an amazing outlook over the Pacific Ocean and over towards Victoria, to the south towards Victoria, but the park itself it just doesn't reflect the natural beauty of this area. There are limited sites along the water uh, that would be available for transients, we suspect. Um, and the spots along the lagoon were, were kind of spotty, so uh, we didn't spend too much time here. Let's move on. Oh wait, just before we go, let's pull up. I want to show you something. You see the jut out of land off in the distance? It looks like a, an island, but it's really part of the Vancouver Island. That is a Canadian federal penitentiary. Minimum security. Where else in the world is there a federal penitentiary, maybe apart from Finland, on a beautiful choice piece of oceanfront property, 87 acres. Inmates are free to kind of roam around the property, I believe. It holds, I think, 200 inmates, but there's a bit of a vacancy rate right now. I think there's only 188. Only in Canada, eh? Our second to last RV park option in the Victoria area is also about 45 minutes from downtown Victoria. So it's about the same distance as Weir's Beach that we just visited. It's a little bit to the west of Weir's Beach in an area called Petter Bay. It's absolutely beautiful. So let's take a look. Oh my god, that's oh. a nice 
Yeah, you've got your own desk. If you had a fifth wheel, yeah. this would be the best sight in the world. Our impression as we leave the Petter Bay area is that this is an ideal location if you don't mind being 45 minutes to an hour from downtown Victoria, but want to be in the more outdoor wilderness area surrounding Victoria. Um, it's just, a, it's beautiful. You, you get to explore the west coast of uh, the southern tip of Vancouver Island. Uh, the East Soup Park is nearby, which has fabulous walking trails, hiking trails along the, the west coast of, um, of Vancouver Island. The Souk Basin is nearby. There's just so many places to explore. So if you're kind of a rugged outdoor type of person, then this is the place you should be. Okay, let's head back towards Victoria in search of our last RV park. When we were thinking about the RV park set we wanted to share with you around Victoria, we didn't even think of this one because we thought it was a residential RV park. But in all fairness, I think we should show it to you because it is an option for those of you who wish to be quite close to Victoria. This is a very close, um, within 20 minutes. Uh, you're on a fairly busy highway um, from this park back into Victoria, but it's, but it's quite close. It would be a great spot if you had family nearby or you just wanted to spend time in downtown Victoria and you had a nice rig that you could return to. It's not the most beautiful park in the world. It's really quite utilitarian, but it's uh, it has nice clean sites uh, for transients, um, but the majority of it is residential RV um, living and, you know, living at its best. Like, look at this creature. I, I would love to buy this and try to get through the border crossing with it. Well, friends, let's finish off with a few more images of Victoria with the hope that they might encourage you to come to Victoria one day. We would love to see you here. And if this video has helped you in any way, please give us a like. We would love it if you would subscribe to our channel. And we look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks. Thanks for watching.